Welcome folks to another monthly journal. I am an aging photography hobbyist and I spend most of my free time shooting street photography. On this channel you will be able to watch and follow along as I fumble about trying to improve my lackluster photography skills. In this video I'll share with you some of my favorite images that I took in Guangzhou in March and will finally conclude the endless debate about zooms versus primes. Well, in my mind at least. I spent most of the month walking around an area of Guangzhou called Yesio, the historic center of the city. I explored three main streets, Guangzhou Revolution Road, Education Road, and Beijing Road. The streets are not as exciting as the name suggests and I preferred the old alleys I explored throughout January and February. I started off the month by taking my 85mm Prime for a walk, trying to give it another chance but I quickly decided to put it back in my bag. 85 millimeters is just too narrow a focal length for my liking. Thankfully, I brought along a 24 to 70 millimeter lens and that lens ended up attached to my camera for the rest of the day. I was getting very comfortable with the switch from a prime lens to a zoom, but as I approached this scene, however, I started encountering problems. I knew I wanted to use the gateway as a frame, but I I just couldn't figure out where exactly to stand and ended up fuffing around with my zoom. I missed out on many good shots because I was not in the right place, physically and mentally. I couldn't focus in time, my mind was scattered all over the place, I was focusing too much on my settings and not on composition and nailing the image. Although I ended up capturing this photo, which was my favorite image of the month, I kept on wishing I had my 40mm Prime with me. As the month progressed, I found myself preoccupied with the old Prime vs Zoom dilemma. I was trying to figure out what is better for me and my quote unquote style of photography. Being a numbers guy, I decided to open up Lightroom and nerd out. I collected all the data from my previous 5 years of photography and the 40,000 or so images I shot. Some of the findings just corroborated what I already felt, but some of the findings truly surprised me. Let's first rush through some common views on the matter to get everyone in sync. And we can start off by what I believe are the only two strengths of prime lenses. Using a prime lens removes focal length from the plenty of other factors that are considered when attempting to capture a good image. The removal or constraint simplifies the process for me. It allows me to slow down and focus on what is more important, in my opinion, composition and light. More importantly, when I do need to zoom, I'm literally forced to move around, to change my perspective, and to continuously recompose. I can't think of anything better to improve photography over time. Using a prime lens allows me to get used to a single focal length and to how I constantly view my surroundings. This helps me tremendously in simplifying composition and maintaining a consistent style. Over the years, the focal length I have slowly gravitated to is 40 millimeters. And now for what I believe is the only single strength of zoom lenses, versatility. Typically, I prefer to bring along a zoom lens when I do not know the location or do not have full control of my schedule. On a recent business trip to Vietnam, I kept all my primes at home. I wanted to travel light and did not know where or when I would be able to take out my camera. I brought with me a 24 to 70 millimeter zoom. With the formalities out of the way, let's delve into the numbers. The first thing I wanted to confirm is whether I use my primes more than I use my zooms. I knew that I started off using zooms when I started out with photography and gradually moved towards primes in the last two years or so but I wanted to see what the data had to say. I have three zooms, what many call the holy trinity, a 14 to 28 millimeter, a 24 to 70 millimeter, and a 70 to 200 millimeter. I also acquired some primes over the years, five of which I use quite regularly. The data was clear. The two lenses I use most are my 24 to 70 millimeter zoom and my 40 millimeter prime. I tend to use a 24 to 70 for versatility and my pancake 40 millimeters for low light 
and daily street photography walks. No surprises there. But I wanted to dig deeper. I wanted to know exactly how I use my zooms, especially the 24 to 70. My gut was telling me that I shoot mostly at 40 millimeters. Turns out this was nothing further than the truth. Let's start with my 14 to 28 millimeter wide zoom. I shoot only at the edges. Strange. Seems I can simply replace this lens with a 14 millimeter prime. Will be cheaper and will probably get better quality results. Still a bit weird though. How about my telephoto zoom? This is even stranger. I also only use this lens at the edges as well. And mostly at 200 millimeters? That's very strange. So I went back and re-examined the data. It seems that I mostly used these two lenses in the first year when I was just starting out with photography. I hardly use them anymore. So let's just write this off as inexperience. Let's look at the 24 to 70 millimeter workhorse. The lens the data shows I use for almost two thirds of my photography. Okay, now this is really stupid. I use this lens at the edges for 70% of the time, just at two focal lengths. If I wanna shoot wide, I go wide to the extreme. And if I wanna zoom in, I go straight to 70 millimeters. So far, nothing is making any sense. Definitely not what I expected. The only conclusion I can make is that zoom lenses are making me lazy. All right, let's, let's put all the data into one graph. Seems like I shoot almost exclusively at 24 millimeters, 40 millimeters, 70 millimeters, and 200 millimeters. Yet none of my favorite images are from these focal lengths. Well, since I haven't used my wide angle and telephoto zooms in a long while, let's just examine the 24 to 85 millimeter range. Okay, a bit clear, but still strange. So I shoot mostly at 24 millimeters, 70 millimeters, and between 40 and 50 millimeters. My gut told me I was shooting way over 50% of my images at 40 millimeters. I just couldn't be more wrong. I still didn't have a clear answer though. What is better for my photography, 24 to 70 or a couple of primes? Then since I shoot mostly street photography and mostly at f8, a cheap f4 24 to 70 zoom would probably do the trick. More than enough for my type of photography and light on the wallet as an added bonus. But since I was so wrong about everything so far, I decided to check the data again and focus on what aperture I use most. If you made it this far, you could probably guess how that went. Well, I do shoot at f8 a lot, but I shoot at f2.8 or lower the most. More than a third of the time, I shoot at the lowest f-stop possible. Okay, let's wrap it up. What did I learn from all of this? One, analyzing the data occasionally is certainly useful. It gave me interesting insights into my photography. Two, I tend to use my lenses at their extremes. A wide zoom at its widest focal length. A telephoto zoom at its narrowest focal length. And almost all lenses wide open at their lowest f-stop. Zooms make me lazy. I am far from being deliberate in the choice of focal length. So if I had to start over, would I purchase the same lenses again? Probably not. Instead of buying the holy trinity of zooms, I would probably just buy a cheap 24 to 70. After a while, maybe buy a few cheap primes to improve my photography game. Then I would analyze a few years of data like I did now and upgrade my lens line up to a better one. Well, I was already thinking of getting rid of my wide angle zoom and my telephoto zoom. The numbers tell me I am hardly using them. I'm confident that they're no longer needed. They're on the way out. There was a 24 to 120 millimeter lens I wanted to buy, but I will hold off on that purchase for a while. I also wanted to invest in a nicer 35 millimeter prime, but 
based on a data, perhaps a 24 millimeter would be more appropriate. I'm going to be more deliberate in how I use my 24 to 70 millimeter zoom from now on. I'll try to be more conscious of the focal length I use and especially try to figure out why exactly am I using it at the extreme. I'll come back and analyze the data again in a few months after I am more deliberate in my photography. I'll also try to do a similar analysis just for my favorite images. Only then will I reevaluate my current lens choice. So no shopping for any lenses in the foreseeable future. Street photography has all the elements you need to make an interesting photo. It is also incredibly challenging. Sometimes you have close to zero control of what is happening in real time. In a flash of a second, you need to master composition, shadows and light, colors, reflections, layers, and moving subjects. If you're well prepared and a little lucky, that beautiful light does not vanish. That person does not move. You bring the right lens for the job and you get to capture a precious flash of time. The thrill of the hunt with a camera. Thanks if you made it this far. Enjoy the hunt and see you next week.